have you ever tried solving jigsaw puzzles or have you been thinking of what solving puzzles add to your cognitive skills well in this video we're gonna cover up the ways and the benefits of solving jigsaw puzzles hello everyone my name is Jada I'm very into solving puzzles and I enjoy them it's like very relaxing and meditation for me especially in these days where we are locked down and stay at homes Solving puzzles can be one of the best activities to do at home with the people we love. So if you're interested in solving jigsaw puzzles and want to give it a try, these strategies will help you a lot. So let's get started. This is the puzzle I'll be solving with you guys while I'll be explaining you the strategies and the benefits of solving it. As a start, you can choose 500 pieces, maybe less, maybe more, as you like. Mine will be 1000 pieces. As you can see, this puzzle has many colors and shades, which will actually make it easy for us to solve it. First thing we will do is that we will turn all the pieces facing up. Some people might skip this step, but it's very important to see every single piece while we are solving it. Well, I prefer to put the pieces in other puzzle boxes or board game boxes because it will be easier to move the pieces around and it will also save place. While we are facing the pieces up, we can start sorting the edge pieces. Edge pieces will form our border which will show us the area we will be working in. It's basically going to be the frame. We can also start sorting another group which can be the sky because sky is a big part in most of the puzzles. Sorting the sky now is going to save our time when we start to sort other pieces later. Now that we have all the pieces facing up and collected our edge pieces, we can start to assemble the border because that defines the space we'll be working in. We will see the pieces which matches the colors. We can always check the picture on the box to see which part belongs to where. Now we're done with the border. We might miss some edge pieces while sorting, but don't worry, we will find them later with the other pieces. Now we can start to sort pieces into groups. It can be sorting by colors or objects. In this puzzle, we're going to sort by colors because it has multiple colors here. As we use memory to complete the jigsaws when remembering shapes, sizes, and visualize where they can fit, it improves our short-term memory. Working on the puzzle strengthens the connection between the brain cells and creates new ones. They also improve visual and spatial reasoning when looking at individual parts of jigsaw and figuring out how to fit the pieces. After sorting the pieces, it's time to assemble. So in this part, we will basically match the pieces. We just keep trying until the pieces fit together. We have to pay really close attention to details. Looking carefully at each puzzle piece and the image on the puzzle box will let us match the pieces together. I personally first sort one group and assemble it, then I sort another group and then assemble it. You guys can sort all the pieces at once, then assemble them. It's your choice. While we are doing this, it makes us more focused and pay more attention to details when finding the small differences in colors or shapes. This ability is actually very helpful in our lives, especially at work. When we are more detailed and precise, the quality of our work improves. Solving puzzles also develop problem solving and critical thinking skills as it requires us to take different approaches to solve it, try new theories and change track if we are not successful. After we assemble each group, we check where it belongs in the puzzle so we know where to put it. I can tell from looking at this picture that this group belongs to over here. Right now I'm sorting and assembling the rest of the pieces. 
Did you know that solving puzzles exercise both sides of the brain? The left side of the brain controls analytical and logical thinking, and the right side controls creativity. So it's giving our brain a real mental workout. It also improves our IQ. University of Michigan proved that doing puzzles for at least 25 minutes a day can boost our IQ by 4 points. If you get stuck, you can just have a break. You should not hurry, but enjoy the time. You can also change your position to see the things in a different perspective. This will let you see things you didn't see before. Or you can leave the part you're stuck at and move on for another part not to waste time. And never give up. Even if it takes so much time, believe in yourself and you will succeed at the end. Solving puzzles increase the production of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that regulates mood, memory and concentration. Dopamine is released when each time we succeed as we solve the puzzle, so it really enhances our mood. It also lowers our stress level. Puzzles give energy to our brain, but are also very relaxing. While we focus on solving puzzles, our minds are only on one task, which encourages our brain to go into a state of meditation. This leads to a better mindset and better stress coping skills. Alright, we are almost done. We have some empty spaces left in some areas where we know how the shape is, like this one. That's why when we have fewer pieces left, we can sort them by their shapes. Now, it's the final step, which is finishing. We're gonna fill the remaining spaces now. And here it is, we are done. Look how amazing it looks. It just gives me happiness and proudness to see this done. I'm sure you're going to have the same feelings as you're done with your puzzle. I hope this video was beneficial for you guys. Don't forget to take some time and enjoy your work. You've put great effort and energy into this process and your strategies have paid off. When you're done with your puzzle, you can either glue it and frame it on the wall, which I love to do the most because I love to see my artwork hanging on the wall. Or you can just shuffle the pieces and let someone else do it. After this, if you're done, you can go ahead and try another 1000 piece puzzle or harder one. Just by any sport or profession, you'll get better just by practice. So this was it for our video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.